All right, on September 28th, the House held its first hearing in its impeachment inquiry of President Joe Biden. Over the past few years, though, you may remember, the House has twice launched a similar inquiry to impeach former President Donald Trump. Let me show you how the impeachment process works. First, a House committee will launch an investigation to determine if the president engaged in one of three offenses. This is where it all begins, either bribery, treason, or high crimes and misdemeanors. In this case, it's the House Oversight Ways and Means plus Judiciary Committees. Now, after all the evidence is gathered, the House Judiciary Committee, who are often the main group leading impeachment efforts, vote on if an impeachable offense was committed. If so, the committee then writes the articles of impeachment based on the findings from the investigations. Now, after that, the full House votes on the resolution. A simple majority is needed to officially impeach the president and move it on to the next stage. Without a majority voting to impeach, the measure dies in the House. Now, just playing out this scenario, if they do vote to impeach the president, the matter then moves to the Senate. It would set a date for a trial, which will be led by the Supreme Court's Chief Justice. Senators then become jurors in an actual trial. They'll listen to the House managers or counsel who provide evidence and testimony of what they say is the president's guilt. The president's legal counsel then provides a defense. Then the Senate deliberates and votes on the conviction. It requires a two-thirds majority to convict a president on any article of impeachment. And if the president is convicted on at least one article, the chief justice of the Supreme Court announces the conviction and removal of the official from office. Now, the Senate can then vote if the person should also be barred from public office for life. Out of the 21 impeachments undertaken in U.S. history, before now, only eight officials have been removed from office. All of them were federal judges.